Cheryl Cobb. I'm the creator of I Ruminate. In my work, there is something I use in both dance moves and in programming light suits, and that is loops. Loops are repeating an action over and over. When you repeat something multiple times, like my actions to keep the hula hoop spinning, I'm performing a loop of that action. This is a loop. This is a loop. And this is a loop. Today, we're going to have a dance party. We'll act out loops with a new dance, the iteration. We're going to learn about loops using a dance. You will learn a couple of easy steps and then repeat them over and over to complete the dance. Here are the steps we need to learn. Clap your hands. Put your hands behind your head. Put your hands on your waist. Lift your left hand up. Lift your right hand up. Pretty simple, right? Head, waist, head, waist, clap, clap, clap. Do you see how some steps are repeated, such as clap? Clap, clap, clap. That's a loop. We need to do it two more. Ready? Clap, clap. You will discover that you can shorten the directions by putting some dance steps in loops. Are you ready? Now we're going to do a belly laugh. Ready? <laughs> we actually do use loops in our dancing. The dancers are wearing computers, and they're all on the same network. And so I might loop the lights through the same dancers over and over again. So in the loop, I might have an iteration. I'll say, you want to go loop through these six dancers over and over again. And then within the loop, you want to increase the speed so that you're, you're both looping through the same dancers, but you're also increasing the speed of the lights so that it kind of plays a visual trick on the audience. And that's all created through loops. Loops are important in computer science because they make our work shorter and easier. <laughs>